to welcome to the stage the man whose vision and energy has carried ACE for the last 25 years, Charlie Thornton. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I'm still alive. So, why did we start ACE? Manhattan College, Walt Sorkin is here tonight. In 2019, basically when the Berlin Wall went down, the School of Engineering at Manhattan College said, well, we're thinking of closing down the engineering school. And all the Manhattan mafia in the New York construction industry said, no way. So Ray Monty, John Magliano, and a whole bunch of other people organized a group, and we called it ACE. And the, the Catholic high schools in New York City had lost sight of the fact that they were not producing white boys. In the 70s, all of these colleges were all male, and things changed. In the 70s, it became co-ed. So what we did was, we said to the engineering school at Manhattan College, we're gonna go out and we're gonna find women, men, brown, and diverse populations, and we're gonna bring them back to engineering school. And that's what we did. So why did I start ACE? I started it for one reason. My father, who was a bricklayer, who was kicked out of New York City schools when he was 13, was a bricklayer. And he worked his way up after Pearl Harbor, when everybody else went to war. He got jobs, and he ended up the head of construction inspection in New York City. And what he did it when I was 15, 16, 17, he brought everybody into the unions. He brought young 17, 18 year old high school dropouts into the bricklayers, the carpenters. He couldn't penetrate the, elect the electrical, they were a little bit tougher. But, and, and he did that when I was 15, 16. So, Fast forward to 1991, 92, 93, 94, and we're, we're, we're witnessing a workforce development issue in New York City and the world, and so why don't I emulate what my father did and start ACE? That's what we did. And it started in Connecticut, after New York City, and Newark. And then I started acquiring firms at Thornton Tomasetti. And what we did was, <clears throat> we had one, let's say two weapons in our camp in New York City. The first was Chase Manhattan Bank. My relationship with Ed Ryder from Chase Manhattan Bank enabled us to basically say to the ethnic community in, in New York City, we are representing Chase Manhattan. And some of the mentors talked about Houston and having a need today to have the ability to convince parents that ACE is a safe way for their kids to learn. We had all of our mentoring programs, our recruitment programs, our final presentations on the 60th story of Chase Manhattan headquarters, David Rockefeller's artwork was there. And the second thing happened, there were 350 high school kids in the New York City Construction Authority that were being mentored by New York firms. And the Board of Education and the United Federation of Teachers did not wanna know we existed. So guess what we did? We got 350 high school students and we got them into ACE. And some of the people like Norbert Young, McGraw-Hill Construction, Nadine Post from ENR, Jan Tuckman from ENR, 
they sort of caught on to what we were doing. And today we are here in a big room with a lot of people doing great things for students. Thank you.